Well, Trent Robinson's Sydney Roosters, they made a preliminary final, but the general consensus across the board is that they were quite a significant step below the top two. That was evidenced when they played both of them in the finals and throughout the course of the year. I think they've lost 19 of their last 21 against the, the Storm and the Panthers. So how do the Roosters bridge that gap? Is it as big as it appears to be? And can they turn a top four run into a premiership tilt. Here are five targets for 2026 and beyond for the Sydney Roosters. Well, the Sydney Roosters, very good side, top four side, but if you ask most people, be it diehard Roosters fans or neutrals, they're a fair rung below the top two of the Storm and the Panthers. How easy will it be for them to close that gap? Can they turn a very good list and a very good playing style into one that can win a premiership and have sustained success over the way. Trent Robinson with that challenge in front of him. You'd think that their base certainly sits a fair bit higher than a lot of the other sides we've spoken about here, but what do they have to do? We'll take a look at the top five leading targets for the Sydney Roosters. Option one, Reese Robson from the North Queensland at Cowboys. Will the Roosters have to investigate their options at dummy half? Brandon Smith has certainly threatened, but in terms of being uh, the absolute top liner that they are after, they still have to assess just where that sits in comparison to some of the other strong sides around the competition. So if they were to sit down and prioritise targets, this might be an area towards the top of the list that they certainly look at. And Reese Robson from the Cowboys, another very good side, not too far away from the Roosters in terms of the balance, that would be one side that they could potentially take a look at. Option two, Selwyn Cobbo from the Brisbane Broncos. If you look at the Roosters' current list profile in terms of who is out of contract uh, towards the end of next year, who they might lose in this period or might lose in the next period, then it's obvious they need to target centres, players that can get the job done in that role for them. And Selwyn Cobbo is a player that does fit that profile and fits the gettable, in inverted commas, uh, area that they need to address as well. So Selwyn Cobbo, if we look at the previous two areas that we've discussed, he would certainly fit a need immediately for them. Option three, Bronson Cherry from the Bulldogs came back from serving a four-year drug ban and had a fairly strong influence in his first season, played 18 or 19 games over the course of the year and, and certainly had an influence and the belief is that he'll gradually adjust more and more to the pace upon his return and just keep getting better. So he's definitely another option in the centres for this Roosters side to address and obviously the Bulldogs improved out of sight so he played a major role in that and they'd be hoping that he can come across and add something to them as well. Option four, Toby Couchman, a superb young forward, and the fact that he hasn't recommitted to the Dragons would be sending alarm bells through Shane Flanagan and all of their fans. And just maybe the Roosters might be leading the pack of clubs that will be awaiting, ready to pounce if he does not recommit in the near future, which has not happened at the time of recording. So he would be a dynamic target for them that would address uh, some depth, but also some class in the forward role and uh, certainly help to give them just that tiny bit of X factor that might see them stack up a little stronger against those best two sides in the comp. Option five, Will Price from the Knights. Again, if we're looking at targets and areas of improvement within the Rooster side, fullbacks, five eights are areas that they definitely have some uncertainty around. And we know the Knights, they've been spoken about a lot in terms of their salary cap squeeze and potentially losing players that they would otherwise have committed to. And the Roosters should be awaiting all of those decisions ready to pounce on someone like Will if that opportunity does eventuate. Sydney Roosters top four all year preliminary final, but seemingly with a little bit of work to do. There are plenty of targets for them and it's not gonna take a stack of improvement for them to become a premiership contender once again. You obviously don't have to go back too far uh, since they last at were, and uh, they've certainly got the culture and the mix to push up once again. They are our top five targets for the Roosters. Uh, jump on the comments and let us know what you think of those. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And, Check out our thoughts on the targets of all 17 clubs, plus our season reviews at uh, zerotackle.com.